Hi, my name is Whitney Hansen. I am a podcast host and my podcast is called The Money Nerds. I know as a podcast host, sometimes you have to learn how to promote your stuff. You have to pr learn how to promote your work and your episodes and it can feel a little bit overwhelming. So I'm going to show you how I create audiograms for very, very inexpensive to promote my podcast. So let's go ahead and dive in. Hopefully you can all see my screen okay. Um, first and foremost, I use Canva for most of my graphic design work. So I have a template that I've created right here that's specifically for Instagram stories. Okay, that's where I get a lot of my podcast traffic. So that's the one I'm going to focus on. So I have opened up this one and I will just show you. I am currently promoting a rock star episode by my friend Cami Fari. She's a website designer. She does such a beautiful job. So what you do is you create your template. This is one that I have personally created. If you've never used Canva, this is not a Canva tutorial. You can definitely look on YouTube for plenty of those, but this is just the one that I personally use. So when I have one that I like, I click on download. I select just the first page and then I push done and it downloads down to my download folder. Okay. That's how I get my image first and foremost. Once I have my image created for my Instagram stories, then I'm going to hop over to a program called Wave, W-A-V-V-E dot co, Wave dot co. Okay, now same thing, I've already created a design here, but let me show you how this looks. So you can create basically any type of design. You can do horizontal, you can do square. This is more for like your YouTube videos, more for Facebook and Instagram posts and vertical are your stories. So in this case, I chose vertical and then this took me to this setup. Now I already have my stuff created, but I'm gonna just show you roughly what that would look like. So we're gonna upload an image and I just saved it to my downloads. So it's right here. And I'm just going to choose and it goes on to wave. This is beautiful, right? So then we're going to go over here back and we're going to select waveform. Now this is where you get the little, I don't even the waveforms, I guess. Um, I don't know what else to call it. And I like to put mine right about there. I like to change the color by clicking this box down here. And then let's change it to just like a, a black. Okay. So now we've got this set up, so we're just gonna save this. And this is your new template for creating any of your Instagram stories as soon as it gets done loading. Okay, now once we have this, you can switch out the image every single week by clicking edit this design and swapping it out. So for every podcast guest that you have, you would come over here, you'd swap out the image, re-download it, and then replace the image over here. And to do that, you just click edit design you click image and then you replace existing image. Okay, so that's how you would do that. And then once you have that template all set up, I'm gonna go back to the stock template that I currently have just because I have different color schemes and stuff set up. So I'm going to edit this design. Again, I'm gonna switch out the image to camis. And then we're going to save. It always takes a second. Okay, now once I have that, step one is done, we have the right image up. Now step two is where we're going to upload the audio. So I re-downloaded this, I use SoundCloud as my uh, podcast hosting, so that's where you can find mine. I just replace it directly, or, uh, oh darn, it's too big. Okay, so even though it said the file is too big, I don't know what's up, it still uploaded it and that is perfectly fine. So what I do is I listen to the podcast on my phone. So I'll listen to it on my phone, I jot it down, I listen on one and a half speed, and then when I hear a little sound bite that I think sounds interesting or sounds kind of fun, I will take a little piece of paper and I'll write down the timestamp. So in this one, I thought Cami said something really interesting at about 14 minutes and six seconds. So what this means is my start time now is going to be 14, 06, 00, and then we're gonna do an end time of, oh, let's say 20. I don't know for sure when it ends, but we can just take a listen to that and see. So you push play and then it'll let you go through the whole thing. So I just need a second so I can see if this is actually what I want. Oh, and notice that I accidentally pushed that. So it sped up my, it threw off my marker there. That's not what I wanted. Okay, so we're gonna go 1406 through 2017. 
Um, that's a little bit much, so let's go. Eh, it might be all right. Okay, so let me take a look at this and see if this is actually what I want. So one second, please. So I had to push pause on this recording, but I just listened and Cami said some really great things from 1406 to 1509. So that is going to be my timestamp, my end timestamp. So 1509, um, and that gives us a little clip. So see, it's 60 seconds, which is fine. It's about a minute. I'm okay with that. We're just going to click on generate video and it will start to generate the video. So while this is doing its thing, I'm gonna pop back over to Canva and I'm going to do an Instagram post. So what I like to do is I like to make a copy of this. You don't have to, you can actually just duplicate a page. So hypothetically, you could just say duplicate this and then do all of your posts this way. That's totally okay. Um, but I'm gonna do a new one. So I want this to be, <laughs> I know, quiet. I hate when my computer does that, okay. So this is Camifari IG Audiogram Square. Okay, so I already uploaded her image. So we're just gonna take this, drag it in. I don't like that her head's cut off, so I'm gonna make some little adjustments here. Okay, much better. And then same type of thing. I'm just gonna click download. Download page one. It's going to start to download. Wave is kind of doing its own thing. It's going to take a little bit because it is audio and video. Well, technically, it's only a video. Bear with. <laughs> okay, so now it's mostly done. And you'll see that it's starting to do the video analyze thing. This can take a couple minutes. So, okay, so while it is finishing its process, which it looks like it is now officially done, then I'm going to come over here. I'm going to go to create... Under create, you're gonna find all of your designs. I've already got this little design. We're gonna select this, we're going to edit this. Remember, we're gonna switch out the image. So replace image with Cami's square one. Okay, ignore the wave links. I, I know that these look a little bit weird, but that's, it's totally okay um, because that's what I want for this uh, video. When it starts to move, it actually gets into, see how it's like right in the right place now? You have to play around with this a little bit, but it's not too bad. Now, same thing again, we're gonna have to upload that file and I hope it cooperates. <laughs> we'll see. Um, oh, I, I shortened one of these, so just bear with. I made it a little bit smaller using GarageBand, so it was a faster upload time. Okay, so same thing. I like that clip, 140600. And then we like it through 1509. I don't know why it doesn't want to cooperate. That's okay. Zero, zero. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. 63 seconds. That's true. We're going to generate the video. While this is generating, I'm going to pop over here. And then I understand this page is using a lot of memory. Um, over here, I'm going to go to more and I'm going to click on download while this other video is processing. So yes, I do want to download this and it will immediately pop up with the QuickTime video. The cool thing now is when you select this, this is how I do this. So I will go over to this little section. I click on airdrop because I use a Mac. So that's just, it works for me. Um, let me get this. So I'm gonna select my iPhone, it says it's waiting. Um, let me make sure that I'm logged in. Okay, so. So now I have Cami's thing right directly on my phone. And then once I wanna upload this to Instagram stories, then I just go to my Instagram, I just scroll over and then I can search for Cami's video. Once you find her video, you can just immediately upload it and that's pretty much it. That's how you would do it. It's really fast. It doesn't take a ton of time and that's how I like to do my downloads. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This shows you like legitimately step for step for how I would do this. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I'd love to see your waveforms too. Let me know how it all goes.